We turn our attention now to the heavyweight fight upcoming. Potentially a tremendous battle between Vladimir Klitschko and the new sensation of the division, Samuel Peter. Peter's from Nigeria. The last Nigerian heavyweight who was regarded as having a big future, Aiki Bayabuchi, wound up in jail. Samuel Peter's an entirely different kind of person, just as devastating a fighter. Say hello to the Nigerian nightmare. The latest contender from Africa's most populous nation. And a breath of fresh air for a stagnant heavyweight division. Three straight right hands there. Diaz is in trouble. Samuel Peters' journey to the cusp of heavyweight stardom has been unlikely. A middle-class upbringing and a boarding school education shielded him from a society rife with poverty. Everybody in Nigeria we play soccer. You know, you read, you go to school, you play soccer. That's why I go to this school to be an engineer. That's what both my mom and my dad want me to be. I didn't even expect that I'm going to be a boxer. When a reluctant Peter attended a school-sponsored boxing clinic, his true calling was uncovered. He had a gift. Punches are born and not made. He's aggressive, he's strong, he's a real heavyweight. He's got a neck that's real short and compact and he can punch like hell. With a limited amateur background, Peter punched his way to the 2000 Olympics. Although he didn't win a medal, he fought well enough to attract some attention. I was looking for the best heavyweight at the Olympic Games, and uh, once I saw Samuel, I looked no further. His Olympic experience forced him to make a life-changing decision, to leave Africa for a professional boxing career in America. I didn't know anything about the United States. I just hear the name United States of America. You know, this is the way they do boxing. And everything was hard for him, you know, coming to America, the whole process of relocating in Las Vegas, Nevada. Everything was different, everything was new. Yeah, it was difficult. It's like uh, when I first came to the United States, we live in Sahara. I wanted to go back the next day. <laughs> Settling in Las Vegas, Peter connected with an established Nigerian community, which happened to include a woman from his home region whom he would ultimately marry. I was told there is a guy from the same state that I'm from that wanted to meet me. And when I heard he's a boxer, <laughs> That's when I actually even wanted to run more. God wanted it to be, so here we are. While Peter's personal life was coming together, his boxing career had yet to hit its stride. When he first came, we started working with trying out different trainers, Tel Torrance, Kenny Adams, Tommy Brooks. For one reason or another, it didn't work out. And there was a special person that came in his life by the name of Pop Sanderson. I met Samuel at my church in the prayer room. He was rededicating himself back to the Lord, and I happened to be the one at that time that was ministering to his needs. I mean, he gave me a lot of wisdom, you know, as a father. So he's a very good man, you know, and he's a very good trainer. He's running. So double jab, not one jab, double jab. And when you Samuel was falling through the cracks. Samuel needed somebody to be with him daily at the gym to be able to build confidence in him so that uh, he could stay here and be, be set here in America. The transition has been very good. After being married and everything and with all the responsibilities that he's having to face, his career and also the family and our two children, he's been wonderful. I thank God I'm happy because I didn't expect this. I got everything that a man supposed to have. Samuel was a special kid. He's, he's destined to be a world champion. Whether or not Samuel Peter is destined to become heavyweight champion, that young, scared immigre who left everything behind in Nigeria has already achieved an American dream. We bring you back live to Atlantic City, New Jersey, where the crowd inside Boardwalk Hall, properly warmed up by the slugfest they've just witnessed between Miguel Cotto and Ricardo Torres, readies for what might be the most explosive heavyweight fight of the year. Vladimir Klitschko against big punching Samuel Peter. George Foreman, Sam Peter is a big, heavy-handed, raw puncher. What are you looking for tonight to see if he can be the king of the division? Well, you know he's going to get in with a puncher and you're going to get hit a couple of times. Can he get up off the canvas? Can he go back, shake it all off, and keep, or does he get a hit on points and try to protect the lead? We don't need any more of that. We need a genuine, bona fide hero. 
basketball, football, they have nothing but young stars now. We need an old hero from boxing. Well, he could be it. The people who love Peter and think he's going to win the fight believe he'll land something big in the first couple rounds and knock Vladimir out just like that. That's the way heavyweight champions are supposed to do it. And Larry, all of that proceeds from the fact that the conventional wisdom now on Vladimir Klitschko is that he has a weak chin and questionable stamina. Yet he says, when presented with the possibility of this fight, it took him and his brain trust three minutes to decide to say yes. Why? Death wish? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Here's the answer. Vladimir Klitschko at the age of 20 won a gold medal and envisioned himself becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. And despite a couple of serious stumbles on the yellow brick road, he still sees that picture in him. And here's the answer. His big brother Vitaly is a champion and he has decided that the best way to achieve his own goal is to fight more like his brother, to fight smarter than he has in the past, and in that way to somehow neutralize that conventional wisdom. The question about him, once again, Jim, is, is he going to be Lennox Lewis coming back from the knockout, or is he going to be Michael Grant, who can't come back from the knockout? All right, we shall see. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, which in itself sets up some of the tactical realities of the fight, because as you know, if you've seen them, Vladimir Klitschko 6'6", and Sam Peter barely scales 6'2". Arm length advantage of an inch and a half for Klitschko, who's the one who's going to want to try to dominate Peter from the outside with his jab. And they weighed in almost equal to each other at 244 and 243. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Vladimir Klitschko, Samuel Peter fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case a cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. Here comes Sam Peter. Right behind Peter, his Russian-born manager, Ivailo Gatsev, who is perhaps the most enthusiastic of the Peter cheerleaders. George Dino Duva said to me, and he's a promoter, we understand, but the promoter Dino Duva says Sam Peter is the hardest puncher in the heavyweight division in 20 years. A harder puncher than Lennox Lewis, a harder puncher than Mike Tyson, the hardest puncher since Ernie Sabers. That's what the promoter said. That's saying a lot because Klitschko himself is one hard puncher. I haven't seen many of those come along like that. So I've got to see this for myself. Yeah, right. Klitschko is one hard puncher. What, it, what it's saying is their enthusiasm and hopes in their heavyweight. Because he says, I've never been knocked down and I never will be. Well, if you've got the hardest puncher in history, and a guy who never got, gets knocked down, we hardly even have to have this fight. That's exactly right. <laughs> Why would we have to be here? He's obviously going to be the heavyweight champion. The ebullient Nigerian star, Sam Peter. His knockout over Jeremy Williams was as spectacular as it can possibly get. Almost took Williams' head off with a left hook. But his fight with Charles Shuford for 10 rounds was his toughest test, and Klitschko easily knocked out Shuford in six. There are many Ukrainian fans here, so there will be a positive reception from much of the crowd for Vladimir Klitschko. Only two of his 47 fights have gone the distance. All three losses are by knockout. For the first time in his career, Vladimir Klitschko went away to uh, Emmanuel Stewart's Gulag in the Pocono Mountains to train. Show how serious he is, uh, as he put it, from nothing to everything is a long way, from everything to nothing is one stop. You know, I didn't like the idea that he's walking so slow coming down there. You don't want a guy with that kind of energy jumping on you and you're not hot. You gotta be running down that aisle, stepping it up, spinning it, because you get slow and you're not alert, you can get knocked out quick. I didn't like that slow walk. No head movement, nothing. That's the way he's always done it. We'll see if it does not serve him well. Let's go to Michael Buffer, 
who now will begin the ring festivities with the 10 count for Levander Johnson. Before we get started, just a few days ago, the world of boxing lost one of its finest. I'm sure there are many people here as fans and officials that remember a teenager that used to come to the fights here in Atlantic City almost 20 years ago, along with his dad, Bill, and his buddies from the Police Athletic League gym here in Atlantic City. And he used to tell everybody and anybody, this announcer included, that he would someday be a world champion. He is a true Cinderella man of Atlantic City because after more than a decade and a half, 16 years in the ring, at the age of 35, he finally captured the IBF lightweight championship of the world. Last week, he made his first title defense. And tragically, it was his last fight. At this time, we would like everyone to please rise as we toll a memorial count of 10 for a fallen champion, the fighting pride of Atlantic City, New Jersey, lightweight champion of the world, Levander Johnson. You'll always be our undisputed champion. Rest in peace. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Duva Boxing K2 Promotions, Top Rank Incorporated, and Caesars Atlantic City present the featured bout of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing on the line, the NABF heavyweight title, and the number one ranking in the world by the IBF in the heavyweight division. Sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard, Senior Chairman Tony Orlando. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be Lynn Carter, George Hill, and Steve Weisfeld. And when the bell rings, the man inside the ring in charge of the action, your referee, Randy Newman. And now by way of Caesars Atlantic City, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO Boxing After Dark. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get, uh, let's get her! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, standing six feet six and officially weighing 244 pounds. His professional record, an excellent one. 44 victories, including 40 knockouts with three defeats. From Kiev, Ukraine, the former WBO heavyweight champion of the world, the Steel Hammer, Dr. Vladimir Klitschko. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue, he stands six feet two. And his official weight, 243 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 24 bouts. 24 victories, including 21 knockouts. Originally from Nigeria, now living and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the undefeated NABF heavyweight champion, the Nigerian nightmare, Samuel. Peter. Okay, gentlemen. We've gone over the roles, and we're all familiar with them. I want you to obey my commands. Most importantly, defend yourselves at all times. Now shake hands and come out of the bell. Good job. 
Is this the last heir apparent against the next heir apparent? Or will the last heir apparent become the next heir apparent again? Neither guy is dead wet. They don't have a lot of sweat on their bodies. No, but Sam Peter jumped over the ropes to get mm -hmm. into the ring. That helps. <laughs> Sam Peter's trainer, Pop Sanderson, said he's going to go across the ring and hit Vladimir with a right hand and knock him out. Let's see if Peter can step inside of Klitschko's jab. Peter going to the body to start. Klitschko grabbing and holding upstairs after pawing at best with the jab. Now Vladimir begins to pop the jab out there. I like that. You're tall. Take advantage of your height and reach. Don't bend down. Keep the left hand in front of you. Make this guy duck and dodge your left. Emmanuel Stewart says we'll see a different Vladimir Klitschko. He won't get hit with the kinds of big power shots that ended him against Corey Sanders and Lehman Brewster. You show me a big man with a left jab, I'll show you a man hard to beat. Klitschko has got to understand you don't have to duck anything. If you just keep your height, you're out of reach. That's the way Emmanuel has trained him to fight. Basically, George Foreman, Emmanuel Stewart says, look, I train tall heavyweights to beat shorter ones. That's what I do. I trained Lennox Lewis. I'm going to do the same thing with Vladimir. If height is the game, he's got it. What Peter's got to do is stop playing the boxing game, get close. Every time he hits you, inch a little closer and don't get that, don't let that reach get up back out there to you. Stay close. Little left hook by Vladimir Klitschko. Peter has tried to reach Klitschko's chin with his left hook three times. All three times, Klitschko's blocked it with his right glove. There he did it again. You can see that Vladimir's conscious of holding the right hand high. Vladimir sticking the jab and now fires his own right hand and grabs Peter before Peter can fire back. Sam tries to get to the body. Peter's got to find a way to get close and stay close. Remember, whenever the guy hits you, that means you're close. Stay there. Don't back away. Peter firing a right hand from outside, but didn't set it up with anything. Sam Peter's going ha to have to get closer than this if he's going to land his artillery. All right, Frank, don't punch. Get up. Let him go. Let him go. There's a right hand by Klitschko. First big shot of the night is for Vladimir. You got to know when you hit a guy like that, he's going to get mad and try to hit you back. Very competitive, Sam Peter. Wanted to make the statement in return. Left hook lands for Klitschko. That left hook hurt, too. Break, don't punch, don't Peter punch, has proven down. relatively easy to hit so far for Vladimir Klitschko. That could be very bad news for the Nigerian fighter. Because if Klitschko gets into a rhythm and keeps his attack up, that is his defense. You're occupied. Peter reaching, hammers Klitschko with a right hand to the body. Peter's starting to blow his nose. That's, you don't want to do that in a heavyweight fight. He's taken a fair number of jabs here in round one. And you see the range problem for Peter. As for most of the round, Vladimir Klitschko kept him at bay. Vladimir landing 20 jabs in that round. Everything is perfect. And he's going to slow down even more. Okay? Perfect fight. Controlling him, putting his head, always going to the right. Perfect. And you're going to catch him with a lot more shots than you think, because he's getting tired, and he's starting to think a little bit now. That's all we need him to do. Great fight. Perfect. Job, Perfect. Man. Very relaxed. Just like... Let's work to the body. Take the jab away. Let's work to the body, and let's cut the ring off. Seven. Okay? I'm telling you right. You got to cut him off, Sam. You got to keep your hands high, okay? Klitschko controlled the round with his left and threw that one good right, right on the chin. And Sam Peter took it well. And he tied up everything afterwards. Story of the round was the jab. Klitschko, 20 out of 53. 53 jabs for a heavyweight, that's a ton. Sam Peter threw 34, landed six, couldn't shorten the distance much. Peter reaching with a body shot there. And you heard how happy Emmanuel Stewart was with the way Vladimir Klitschko fought round one. And Klitschko did an excellent job of using his left jab, and now he's slapping up with it. You don't go back to slapping with it. Go keep, keep it straight the way you were doing it originally. Let's go able to back away and take the impact off of Peter left hook. 
it means that Klitschko's left jab got a little tired at that time because he's not snapping it like he was doing. Well, you throw it 53 times in the first round. Maybe you give it a little rest. No, now he starts to work that. again. Peter getting closer with that left. Klitschko goes back to jabbing. Peter almost lands a right hand. Now, if you're Peter, you're not as tight, so don't even stand up at all. Get even lower. The right hand from Peter helped Vladimir Klitschko remember move to his right. He starts moving some more. Peter landing that right hand shot on Klitschko's arm. Misses with those two loops. All right, no points, no points. Let's get out clean. When you're fighting a guy who's shorter, you get lower. The, the fight, your opponent should be lower than you are, so he has to reach down, drop his hands to hit you. Again, Klitschko dropped the right hand behind the jab. Again, Peter took it perfectly well. Peter stands too straight for his height. Get low. Klitschko will undoubtedly drop both hands when you do. When Klitschko finds Peter standing straight up in front of him like that, it makes him an easy target for the jab. Partially because of the four-inch height advantage that Vladimir enjoys. And a half throws that right hand over the top, but the target was there again. Good left hook from Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko is boxing. Sam right, Peter isn't touch. sure what to do. That's what goes back to the old corner. What do you tell a guy who's falling behind on points? What do you tell him? That time, Peter almost managed to counter Vladimir with the left hand, but instead, it's Klitschko who lands the right and managed to block the left. Good left hook inside by Klitschko. He hasn't hurt Peter yet, but he's making solid impact. Fighting very much like his brother Vitaly in spurts. Pulling away, not giving the opponent a chance to set himself. Trying to stay off the ropes where, where, he, where Peter is extremely dangerous. Sam Peter wants to fight on the ropes and in the corners. Vladimir Klitschko has managed to keep most of the action in the first two rounds in the center of the ring. And in the center of the ring, his sheer size is an advantage. Now, body that's, shot one, by Peter. that's one way to make a man drop his body a little lower. Start hitting him in the body. Immediately following smart, tonight's Daniel. live boxing, stick around for the premiere of you Countdown to Tarver Jones 3. Documentary style look at the lives of Antonio Tarver and Roy Jones. Rivals since Take childhood. Next Saturday Take on HBO Pay-Per-View, they'll fight jazz. for the third time. Stay Settle once body. and for all, who's better? You want to keep him running. You want to keep him running and throwing. But you got to keep your hands up, babe. You got to keep your hands up. You got to cut the ring off. Stay down to the body. Sooner or later, he's going to stop and he's going to score one more. The thinking in the Peter corner very obviously is that if you keep the pressure on, that Klitschko's stamina will kick in, or lack thereof. Well, but plan A has gone by the boards because plan A was very definitely to land something big in the first couple of rounds, again expose Klitschko's chin, and score the expected knockout. That hasn't happened. Peter's doing something very Big left hook by Peter. He lands his left jab to the chest of Klitschko every now and then. That takes it out of the big men, especially the puncher. Something Hasim Rachman did to Lennox Lewis in South Africa. Now Peter gets hit with the right hand, and immediately you see the competitiveness. As George pointed out in round one, he gets hit with the right hand, he wants to hit back. Klitschko put his elbow into Peter's mouth and got away with it. Leave him alone, referee. Klitschko firing his right hand straight that time. Sometimes he sweeps it, sometimes he fires it down the pipe. There's a body shot from Klitschko, relatively rare. He's good enough to throw that body shot and then tie his man up. He didn't do that nearly as easily when he was not trained by Emmanuel Stewart. One thing about Stewart's training of Vladimir Klitschko, he sparred 100 rounds. 
In the Klitschko brothers' previous incarnation in Germany, they were reluctant to spar that much before big fights. But of course, Emmanuel Stewart has some old school in it. And Peters has shortened the distance between the two of those guys now. He's walking him down. Oh, That's part of the play. He's getting a little closer. That shouldn't have happened. Once he gets closer, that means it's getting rougher. Good body shot by Klitschko. Second right hand body shot of the round. Klitschko may be feeling as though he needs to go to the body to try to take some of the steam out of Peter's power punching. Peter looping and firing wide, and neither of those punches did damage. You can see those coming. It's the shorter, straighter punches which will do the damage if it happens. Klitschko landed a little left hook. Peter tried to answer in kind. Klitschko doing a nice job of holding his right hand up every time right, that punch. Peter has fired that round. left hook so far. Klitschko looking much more comfortable with the roughness of combat than has been the case in the past. I see Peter Punch is starting to push him away now. You don't want that guy to start feeling like he's so much stronger than you to push you away like nothing. Well, and you have to be very careful in a clinch with a puncher. If he bodies you off and gets the right distance, boom, you could be gone. Well, and that's what Peter's trying to do here. Right, because he's got those short, powerful arms. There's a big left hook by Peter. And Vladimir Klitschko grabs and holds. First big shot of the night for the Nigerian nightmare. Regarded as a huge puncher, Klitschko survived it. Big time, Samuel. You got him, baby. All you have to do is just take your time. Just relax. Cut him down in the body, sweetheart. Cut him down in the body. You're going to get him. Just be patient. Be patient. Work that body, Samuel. Keep working the body. After a while, the hand. He's about sweating. Just about the fourth round coming up. Yeah, okay. Well, he'll start getting tired. I figured that. There's the. Punch at the end of the round. Left hook. Good punch. Klitschko took it. Uh, uh, most importantly, Klitschko ducked under it. That's what you don't want, the next, the following punch. That's what you can't do. Get low. You can't do it. If his jaw is made of glass, it was made of sturdy glass on that occasion. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim. Two rounds to one. 29, 28. Vladimir Klitschko. You know, Jim, in rounds one and two, he showed beautiful ring generalship. I thought about Klitschko. He moved, he snapped the jab, okay? Uh, you know, he did everything he had to do. But I gotta tell you something. In round three, he stuck. He threw one punch and grabbed. One punch and grabbed. One punch and grabbed. And finally, Peter nailed him. And, and, and Peter won that third round because he almost took his head off. Two to one, Klitschko. I gave that round to Klitschko. I don't think one punch at the end of a round changes what a guy has done for the first two minutes and 50 seconds, unless it's a knockdown. Well, you heard Pops Anderson telling Sam Peter, you've got him. He realizes his fighter is closing the distance and getting closer. I guess there was no way that Klitschko was going to keep Peter that far away from him all night long the way he did in the first couple rounds. Yeah, he was pecking him with the jab. Then he started just laying his hand out there. You can't just lay your left hand out there. You got to snap it, make the guy afraid of you, make him afraid of you. Hit him hard a few times, make him back up some. Peter swinging over the top of Vladimir's head. Klitschko fires a right hand down the pipe, lands it on the chin, blocks the left hook from Peter. Blocks it again with his right glove. Klitschko doing a good job most of the time, blocking that left with his right. He's doing an excellent defensive job, but he hasn't made the Nigerian boxer afraid of him. You got to hit him hard and then come to him some. Well, every now and then, just do it. There's a hard right hand by Klitschko. Peter shakes his head as if to say, you can't hurt me. The bottom line is, in this round, Peter hasn't landed anything, and Klitschko has landed three or four very hard shots. It's almost, it's, it's like he's chopping on a mahogany tree, though. The tree keeps coming. Good little quick left hook for Klitschko. Rare among heavyweights, he can lead with a left hook, he can hook off the jab, he has technical brilliance. That does not always a superstar fighter make. A uh, faint. By Peter. But still Klitschko <laughs> blocked right the left with his right. Almost he's got right. some skills. He has skills. He's got, he's got it. Klitschko and Emmanuel Stewart seem to believe that Peter's most dangerous punch is the left hook. He's clearly set up here to try to block the left all night. 
That may leave an opening for Peter's right, which his people regard as being equally dangerous. What a swing. The crowd at ringside catches the breeze as Peter misses with the left hook again. Lichko sticks his jab and then grabs Peter and runs him into the corner. Sometimes when big men lean against each other, they are trying to sap the opponent's strength. It goes automatically pushing away two, 200 pounds round after round. It takes it out of them. Boxing and beautiful. You win in the fight. Okay, you're back boxing. Keep it in with your jab. Boxing good. He's throwing a lot of punches. Deep breath, deep breath, Relax. deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Stay with the body, babe. Stay with the body. Here is a montage of right hands. Like Klitschko gives you an idea of why he's regarded as the most athletic of all of the big men we've seen. CompuBox numbers through four rounds. Vladimir Klitschko, 67 out of 185. Sam Peter, 45 out of 185. Vladimir Klitschko, 49 of 140 jabs. Sam Peter, 16 out of 85 jabs. So Peter's trying to throw more power punches as time goes by. Klitschko is still mixing the jab with the right cross, occasional left hooks, and handling himself pretty well. He's won either three or maybe four of the first four rounds. And there's a little swelling around the right eye of Sam Peter. Yeah, you just can't take those jabs like that all night. You just can't do it. You've got to do something to stop it. Make something. Peter hit Klitschko right on the back of the head with a right hand. And it counts as a knockdown anyway. There may have been an earlier punch that we were shielded from, Jim. So there's the Klitschko chin, or at least that's how it will be seen as he goes down to a Peter punch. Now Klitschko is going to have to fight. The boxing is over. It's going to have to be a fight if you want to recapture his boxing skills. Fight him. I Don't thought the punch landed right on the back of the head. It'll be fascinating to see what the replay shows. Show him Klitschko that you can complain. fight. Show him that you can fight if you're Klitschko. Don't worry about that skill in boxing anymore. This boy doesn't respect that. Peter makes clear he's ready for an all-out war now. There were no punches that landed there, but this is going to be called the second knockdown against Klitschko. I don't know if that was just fatigue with a little push. Weakened legs. He's looking at a 10-7 round here, so the boxing match is over. As George Foreman has pointed out, now it's going to be a war. You've got to fight it now to make this man respect you. you got to hit him hard. You can't hold him anymore. He's going to just get mad. And Peter is mad. Peter's getting so reckless that if Klitschko has something left, he might be able to take advantage of it, and he just dusted Peter with a right hand. But Sam's well, big chin shows. Klitschko hit him with the best he had already, that right-hand shot, and he said, bring it on. So that's discouraging. Peter not only can throw, he can catch. That may be one of the reasons for the apparent Klitschko lapse in energy here in the fifth round. Right on schedule, same round in which he ran out of gas against Lehman Brewster. Work out, work out, work out. Now you're tied, break it up, break it up. Just as against Brewster, he fights a very good first four rounds. Klitschko jumped in with a left hook that time. He's fighting now. Fight him. And hold him too. It is now his is, body on Peter to try to take some of the steam out of Peter. His mouth is wide open, Klitschko, so obviously he's tired. Well, he just missed going to sleep for the rest of the evening on that wild left hook from Peter that came up just a little bit short. Peter has made Klitschko bring his body down, so there are similar heights now. Two knockdowns in the round for Sam Peter. He's way back into the fight. He's throwing straight right hands down the middle, Samuel. You got to understand that. So you got to keep your hands up, Samuel, even when you're trying to get to him, okay? If you got him hurt, you got to dig in the fight, but you got to keep your hands out. If you drop another hand right down the center, okay? Take a deep breath. Take deep ones. Take deep ones. 
Take this one, babe. Deep breath, Samuel. Come on, Samuel. Now, Samuel. Give me water. Give me water. Drink the water, Samuel. Drink it. All right. Listen up. This is the first knockdown. Right on the back of the head. I'm not sure what exactly caused that, whether it was a combination of fatigue and again, uh, and and just strength rather than a clean punch on the jaw. I didn't see any clean punches. Did you, George? No, it takes so much energy to back around and ride from a big man like that. Is Vladimir running out of energy in the face of Sam Peter's body weight, George? No, it's those legs. You gotta bounce and then take those shots and bounce on your legs. Muhammad Ali would lay on the ropes and take a break every now and then. Klitschko haven't done that, so he's taking his energy. Klitschko as can't afford to go to the ropes against yeah. Sam Peter. He knows that. So it takes all the energy he can muster to keep moving. He's just got to keep moving. Even, even Peter looks a little tired after that round now. Oh, it's both. Both guys in the fight now. And Klitschko ripping Peter twice with the jab. We did not get to hear what Emmanuel Stewart said between rounds to Vladimir Klitschko, but that was a big moment for Emmanuel, who... He, himself told us this is a huge fight for me and i'm nervous about it and anybody'd be nervous watching vladimir klitschko just barely dodge a huge left hook yeah peter comes from the old school of swing hard in case you hit something good right hand now you just got to have a lot of them in your bank if you klitschko you just can't throw two or three and wait a while because when you're waiting peter gets energy if he expects to knock sam peter out with one right hand Surely he must realize by now it isn't going to happen. He's landed his Sunday punch. Peter keeps coming. This has been a slow round for Peter, seeming to try to regather his own energy. Klitschko has landed just a few jabs, and he's done the only scoring. And he's using his legs real skillfully. Klitschko is using his legs. Good jab by Klitschko. Stops Peter in his tracks. Lands the jab again. And again. And again. Keeps moving. Peter hasn't landed anything in the round. Body shot. Reaching with a body shot. Klitschko doing a good job of staying on his bicycle here. Now he's going to throw that left hook. That's what he wants. You can really make a big man frustrated when you jab him, jab him, and then move out of the way, then hold him. It's frustrating because you want to land that big shot. You want to mix it up, and it's not happening. Peter standing flat-footed as he threw that. Right Let's hand go hurt. get some courage and fires a right hand down the pipe. It hurt. That right hand hurt. And another right hand lands. And Peter's eyes are beginning to swell on both sides. The old mistake is... This guy's a boxer, but he's a puncher. You don't follow a puncher around like that not doing anything. And that's what Peter is doing, following a puncher around. Another right hand for Klitschko. This one partially blocked. But again, Sam Peter has landed absolutely nothing in the entire round. This now he's got Klitschko in a corner, and Vladimir gets away. This may be one of the more important rounds of... Klitschko's career. That reminds me of Muhammad Ali Don't escaping the sixth oh. round against Sonny Liston oh. in Miami, February 25, 1964, when he was blind. Easy. Don't He's tired say now. He's done. No, no. <laughs> Don't worry. You're taking him to school now. Bang, bang it. Right hand lead. This you're taking him to school doing now. Doing an excellent job. Okay. Now all of those long rounds are fighting while you're tired. It's paying through now. He's tired. He can't function too much. You're thinking it's starting to move good. You're taking the school. Good round for you there. Good round. Good job, baby. Beautiful. <laughs> Very good round. Very good. Boxing, faint, faint, bang. Keep, this is the golden hand right here. Right Just taking you all the way to victory. You're boxing beautiful. But real, real good. And then pretty soon, and I give you two or three rounds, you're going to have him. It may be for that. Drink the water, Samuel. Drink that water. All right. Here's Himabong Peter. Wife of Samuel Peters seated at ringside, obviously praying for her husband's success. Praying constantly throughout the fight. Harold, who has the best prayer in the fight so far? Okay, so, you know, boxing matches are scored by points. I got it 42 in rounds, but all even in points, 56-56, because at round five, Samuel Peter got a 10-7 round. 
I gotta tell you something, Jim. To me, it, he was holding so much Vladimir Klitschko in the fifth round. I swear to God, he was heading for the exit. That's why I got hit in the back of the head. But be as it may, he did get knocked down twice. Randy Newman called the buzzer on the knockdowns. But Randy certainly giving Vladimir Klitschko a break by not taking a point for holding. 56-56, all even. I have it, Klitschko five rounds to one. Have you seen enough holding, George, that you think Klitschko should be penalized? No, I, I saw a lot of skill. He's holding, too much holding, don't get me wrong, but I call that skill. When you're right, fighting right, a puncher, let him go, let him go. you better do something. He just popped Sam Peter with a quick little left hook to begin the scoring here in round seven. And Peter, Peter fires a huge left hook, and Klitschko blocks it with his right glove, and Vladimir almost smiles. It gives him confidence that he was able to block that shot. Peter is tired. Peter's throwing one punch at a time now. He's tired. And reaching while he looks to try to get close. Is he going to get a second win, George? We'll see. Plisco doesn't put enough pressure on him to, not, to deny him a second win. Whenever he wants, he can take a deep breath, back up, and get himself some win if he so chooses Should to. Should Klitschko be throwing more right hands? He's been successful with it. I think is doing the right thing. Hit and move. Stay out of the way of this powerful shot. And make him follow you around occasionally. Throw that right hand down the middle. Peter fans in the crowd beginning to boo Vladimir. They want to see Sam Peter get a chance at the spectacular right, knockout. Points, Klitschko moving, jabbing, occasionally holding. It's the jab, corner. when he sticks it hard, creates space. It's right corner. hand. It's corner against corner now. You're no longer fighting just Klitschko. You're fighting Emmanuel Stewart in that corner over there. Well, and that corner better be wise. Peter's corner. If they're counting on Klitschko just to fall down from fatigue, what happens if he doesn't? I don't think they're counting on that. I think they're hoping to land another huge shot. And watch him fall down from that. But Peter's going to have to find him if Klitschko doesn't slow down. Yeah, the, that corner Peter has got to wake up now. Vladimir feels his back against the ropes, moves to the left. Klitschko stops for the moment, lands the right hand, and grabs and holds as and Peter tries to retaliate. And step around the back of the referee, which is real excellent. We are seeing technical skill from Vladimir Klitschko rescuing him in the fight, and Sam Peter's right eye is swelling shut. You may not be able to train a fighter's chin, but you can train him not to get hit on the chin. We can't let him steal those rounds, babe. Next Wednesday, don't miss Inside the NFL. Join Bob Costas, Chris Collinsworth, Dan Marino, and Chris Carter for picks, analysis, and all the highlights of tomorrow's NFL games. Dig down, babe. Dig down. Hey, Steve. We have a towel. Okay. You're going to have to dig down for this, babe. This is what the champions are made out of. This is what champions are made out of, Samuel. This is what they made it out. You understand? All right. Very tight. When you, listen here. When you let him miss, sometimes you're off to the right, right hand because you let him miss like this a lot. You come back with the right hand. CompuBox numbers in round seven. Klitschko was 14 out of 50. Sam Peter only three out of 32. Peter's landed only eight punches in the last two rounds. He has slowed down almost to a standstill. We're waiting for Peter to see if he'll get a second win. Vladimir Klitschko is using his feet, using the ring, using his jab, and blocking left hooks with his right glove. Peter can only land one punch at a time. Might be big enough if he lands the right shot. Klitschko moves to... Peter switches to a southpaw stance. Peter moves to his right and has just been frustrating him. There's a tremendous why. chance for Vladimir to throw a straight right hand while Peter was in the southpaw stance, but he didn't do it and moved away. See, whenever Klitschko moves to, to his left, to Peter's left, he's just frustrated. He just picks his left hook, crosses the back foot with the left hook. Two big right hands from Klitschko in the center of the ring. And, of course, Peter wants to compete. What about the swelling eyes, George? This is going to make it very difficult for Sam down the stretch. Yeah, it's going to be rough for him. And it's going to get where that left jab will do that. Now Peter lands a jab. Klitschko comes back flush with the right hand. Peter's hands are dropping after he held them high early in the fight. Peter lands the left hook, but didn't get it all. Now, Klitschko is 
and has no more fear of Peter's power. Stands right there in the target, playing the pocket game on him now. Well, it's awfully hard for a guy 6'6 to stand in the pocket. He can do it. I mean, he's not moving. He, the guy loops to left, and his right hand is right up for it. He loops to right, and his left hand is there for it. A very tired Sam Peter is finding it increasingly difficult to find Vladimir Klitschko. The question for Klitschko, can he move like this all the way through the 12th round? Hard right hand by Peter Landon. It hurt. Klitschko holds that hurt. on. That hurt. I thought it was just a grazing blow. But he stands up and lands his own right hand in return. And a little left hook, and he muffles Peter. And there's 40 seconds to go in a round, another round that Vladimir Klitschko is winning. Straight right hand again. You see he stands right there, pitch that right hand, and holds. Good body workout, shot. Workout, workout, Vladimir workout, Klitschko workout. tactically is doing everything right. But you know, the, breaks most, away. the most satisfying thing in the world is when your trainer has told you to do something, and then after five rounds, you see it's working for you. It's satisfying to a fighter. Now you have confidence not only in yourself, but that your corner knows what he's talking about. And that's the position Klitschko is in right now. Lennox Lewis was knocked out by Oliver McCall, who was trained by Emmanuel Stewart. A lot of people wrote Lewis off as having a weak chin. He hired Stewart and won the heavyweight championship of the world. Can Emmanuel do the same thing with Vladimir? Take it in the school. Boxing beautiful. Boxing beautiful. What round is Make it a dance, baby. You got four more rounds. And sometimes when you let him miss it, he's falling off balance like that. Short right hand. A lot of times he's like this here. Short right hand while he's off balance. Okay? Not all. Big time, baby. Good you got to punch him when he punches, Sam. You got to hit the cage. Punch. He yeah, has a pain. One of many clean, straight right hands. The first one we've seen Klitschko drive Peter back. And, and as round nine is ready to begin, Vladimir Klitschko walks all the way to the center of the ring to wait for Sam Peter, as if to say, I've got energy. What about you? You saw the numbers in the eighth round. Klitschko landing 15 punches. Sam Peter landing only six, thrown only 23. Peter's palpable absence of energy makes it very easy to score those rounds. Left hook by Klitschko, little right by Peter, straight right hand by Klitschko. And George Foreman made the point. Whether intelligently or not, Vladimir Klitschko is getting brave again against Sam Peter. And he moves to his left. Whenever he moves to Peter's left, he has nothing to worry about. He can just move over there and just rest. Peters do, do nothing. Doesn't do a thing when you move to Peters left. You can make your money all night just by stepping to his left. Between rounds, Sam Peter looked discouraged as they put the end swell on the swelling in his corner to try to bring it down. Oh, a body shot by Klitschko there. Third right-hand body shot of the fight. And he makes a feint with the right and throws a left. Quick left hook. Well, these are the kinds of things that other heavyweights, by and large, can't do. Right, George? Now Peter chases him and tries to land a right-hand roundhouse right. But I got to tell you, that punch didn't have steam on it either. Big right hand by Vladimir Klitschko. And he moves away. Don't follow a puncher around without throwing punches. Peter walking into Klitschko's right hand and Vladimir taking advantage over and over. If Vladimir Klitschko can somehow win this fight, George Foreman, is it even better for his psyche that he was down twice in the fifth round, yep, seemingly in trouble? It's a cure. He's cured now. He can say, I've had a cure. Because this is a real fight. Yeah, the kind said, that a lot of people didn't think he could handle. Got up off the campus. He was hurt. Got back on his feet. That thing about I can't take it. It's disappeared in his life now forever. Right, what if he was in with a fighter with better conditioning? Incidentally, Peter just hit Klitschko in the back of the head again. 
and Randy Newman does nothing about it. I think that blow is illegal. It was illegal, but the referee came to his rescue. Sam Peter missing wildly with the left hook. Peter looking for one punch, one punch. It's a right-hand free-for-all now as Peter has more and more difficulty seeing it coming. Vladimir Klitschko is landing his straight right hand more or less at will. Sometimes putting everything on it, sometimes taking a little off of it. Peter frustrated, one punch at a time, some of them wild. Vladimir Klitschko's winning the fight. Peter just flopped down on his stool. Two rounds. Keep wrestling. You got to now. You got to put him off. You got to put him in a fight, man. You got to go. You got to make the boy fight. You got to go in there. You can't let him hold you, man. Because every time you hold him, you're letting him get off. You got to. Take him off. Take him off. He's getting tired, though, too. I wish you would hit him with a right hand, right hand. but he's like this here when he's missed. You're letting him miss a lot of this, shoot it from the side. When you're over on this side, you have said he's not dangerous here because he's already in this position. And that's when you can hit him instead of just to the center. Make you a super and, now Sam Peter's wife looking right at him as she continues to recite at high energy. The Ukrainians in the crowd are feeling it. The yellow and blue flags are out. They're chanting Klitschko, Klitschko, Klitschko. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, Jim. Seven rounds to two. 86, 83, Vladimir Klitschko. There's no question that he's won the last four rounds. But I got to tell you something, Jim. You seem to love that jam and grab style of his. And I can't stand it. I, I mean, for Christ's sake, I think a guy that big, winning so big, should really mix it up. I mean, there he goes again. Hit the guy five shots and grab him. Why? Randy Newman hasn't taken one point for holding, and Vladimir has held him a million times. Nor has he anyway, taken a point for hitting in the back of the I, head. That, he's done three I, times. Disagree, that is I disagree completely with you, Harold. I don't think he's been holding that much. I mean, I've seen Larry, guys hold 15 times in a round. Count them. That's the second one in a minute, in, in two minutes. Larry, I, I got to agree with the judge this time. This guy's doing a lot of holding. <laughs> But he's skillful with it. I like it because he's doing what he has to do, and he's not breaking a lot of rules yet. I like it. I hold like it. or no hold, he's winning the fight with his fists. He's out punching Sam Peter. He's landing more. He's fighting more intelligently. He's controlling the action. Intelligently is the right word. He's intelligent. Sam Peter. Seems to have it in his head that if he can land one big left hook, he can right finish to all this. But he's not putting punches together, and he's not fighting with a plan. From the seventh round on, his corner should have told him, look, you got to get the points now. Stop looking for a knockout. Get out there and throw more punches. And maybe corner didn't tell him that. And this time, Klitschko lands the right hand, and instead of trying to punch back, Peter looks at his glove to see if it's bleeding. His eyes are closing. Vladimir's landed too many shots. Once again, Peter hits Klitschko on the back of the head. And may have rung his bell. So Klitschko holds on and buys a little time. Plenty of time in the round. If Peter's hurt him, he'll find out. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Blood streaming out of Peter's mouth. He lands the right hand across the top. Vladimir Klitschko's hurt. Vladimir in the corner, trying to duck and slip. Klitschko lands a right hand. Peter lands a right hand. Neither man goes down. This is a moment of truth for Klitschko. Right Third knockdown of the fight for Peter. And this is what happens to Vladimir. His legs go weak. Hey, wait a minute. You good? Want to fight? Let's go. Only seven seconds left in the tenth round. The referee Klitschko could... may not know that. The referee should have made... Uh, Peters go to the farthest corner. He had him, he was too close. That was just too close. But another two-point round for Take Peter. It, Narrows the scorecards again. One more, babe. One more round, Samuel. Get now, baby. Get us 
Ring doctor goes to Vladimir Klitschko's corner. Oh, you got to fight one, okay? Just box it. The fighters won. Just work your jab, and when he comes in, go in all the way and time up. Just time up. You got to fight one. Okay. Two more rounds, man. Just, just. Let's see the shot. An overhand right on the jaw. You're never out of this range. Down Something goes Klitschko. Dr. Dominic Coletta took a look at Vladimir Klitschko. The fight will continue into the 11th. Power shots in the 10th. Klitschko 9 out of 14. Peter 13 out of 32. Let's see how much energy the knockdown has brought back to Sam Peter. This fight could be close on the scorecards because of the three knockdowns Peter has scored. Even though Vladimir has easily won most of the rounds. It's very unusual for a fighter to score three knockdowns and not win the fight. Left hook lands for Klitschko, left hook lands for Peter. Peter tries to follow up. Gets himself caught between the ropes on the canvas. Clock is ticking. That Peter's got to be the most determined heavyweight in the division. They're both being asked very serious questions about themselves by each other. Who wants to be a heavyweight champion? Who has the guts? Who has the courage? Who has the self-possession to get through these last two rounds? Vladimir Klitschko's technical skills begin to surface again. Sam Peter chases him and hits him on the back of the head again. Klitschko turns into wrestling. One wrestle and one hits on the back while he's wrestling. Neither has been warned for either. Peter wants one big shot. Klitschko wants to land combinations. They're both exhausted. But Klitschko's not too exhausted to get back up and move again. And this frustrates Sam Peter. His energy level drops when Vladimir moves. This is a wonderful fight. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, not many people expected 11 rounds. But it's certainly been one of the most entertaining fights in a while in the heavyweight division. I looked at one of the judges, and the judge is moving back and forward and rocking like a fan. <laughs> Another left-right landed for Klitschko. Peter still trying to load up a big left hook. Stalking, stalking. Right hand lands for Vladimir. And the jab. Go, Peter go, just go, missed go, with a big right hand aimed at ending the fight. You see, Peter's accustomed to hitting people and they move away. Fisco get hurt and hold. George, in the fights that I've seen with Sam Peter, very often he's been able to get his opponent on the ropes and flail away and with his massive strength cause something to happen. And he's never been able to get Fisco on the ropes once this fight that I can recall. The massive strength is still there. You felt Fisco it on the left hook. has done an hook. excellent job of keeping his body away from the rope. Right, right, don't punch, the don't skill, punch, not coincident. Ten seconds left in the round. Peter lunging and reaching. Vladimir Klitschko seems to add another round on the scorecard. Look at the tall stool they put in Klitschko. He doesn't have to flop down. It's a tall stool. Okay. So you should have had one. Win the three. You know, don't worry about power. Bip, bip, bip. Bip, bip, bip. Smart. It. Fast punches. Don't worry about power. Okay? That's right. Let's make it a good one. Okay. Got that's right there. Yeah, that's okay. Right. You got it? Okay. Okay. Pull yourself together, Samuel. Pull yourself together, Samuel. Samuel, this is your. Give him water. Give him water, This is your, Samuel. Give him water. You got to pull yourself together, baby. Come on, babe. Pull it together. And dig this out, Samuel. Dig it out. Dig it. Okay. 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 Stretches go by without Sam throwing. Klitschko more active, throwing the jab to try to keep Peter away. You heard Emmanuel Stewart say to Vladimir Klitschko, don't worry about power, keep throwing punches. 
They trade left hooks. Klitschko missed with the right hand. Three minutes to define future identity in the heavyweight division. Who would have imagined Klitschko trying to do a Muhammad Ali? He's doing a good job of it, too. <laughs> he's boxing, he's moving, and he's holding on like Muhammad Ali. Klitschko <laughs> moving, punching. Peter looking for the big shot. Peter fainting to the left, trying to set up a left hook. He lands a huge one. And Vladimir's hurt. Peter almost followed up with the right. Vladimir trying to hold. Peter trying to get him with one more big one. The referee is allowing him to hit behind this the head. This time Klitschko's legs hold him, although they're still wobbly. Klitschko moving on wobbly legs. Peter trying to get in one more shot. Come on, legs, don't fail me now if you Klitschko. Uh, well, we don't know if the glass chin issue has been resolved, but certainly he's shown he's had stamina. Oh, the left hook wobbles Peter! Now how aggressive will Klitschko be in going for the knockout? That's the most damage he did to Sam Peter all night. Peter's gotten so accustomed to looking for the right hand, he forgot the left hook. The corner told Klitschko to just box. Take your time. They He's didn't know gonna... he'd hurt Sam Peter with a left hook. They're not going to tell him to get aggressive. One minute to go. Peter is just barely hanging in there. All he takes is a right hand and a left hook, and he's on the canvas. Peter short with the big left hook. Glitchko's eyes are as wide as saucers. He's watching everything in front of him. Trying to find his way through the last round and stand up. A big right hand brings blood from Peter's nose. And he's staggering, too. Vladimir Klitschko has hurt Sam Peter twice in the last minute. Will that do it? Can he make it through the last 30 seconds? Peter misses trying to unload one more right hand. Let's see if Klitschko will gamble one more time on a straight right. Oops. Sam Peter is a wounded bull. Blood spurting from his nose. Both eyes closed. Vladimir throws the right hand and lands it again. He's won the round big if he can stand up. Ten seconds to go. Peter got ten Atlantic seconds. City. Ten seconds. Peter's only got. Vladimir Klitschko survives. And a boxing match with fireworks ends in drama. I didn't think anyone could top the earlier ma match, but this was a well, wonderful yeah. night. What a fight. Harold Vladimir's final scorecard shows Vladimir Klitschko winning the last two rounds to secure a 114-111 victory over Sam Peter. And let's take a look at the three men who will score the fight. Here in New Jersey. One woman, I think, isn't it? There's a woman. You got it, baby. Lynn Carter, 50 years old here in New Jersey. Scored Jones Hopkins for Jones. That was all the way back in 1993. George Hill in New Jersey. Hopkins Vanderpool was several years ago also. It's been a while since these people have had significant fights, at least at this level. And Steve Weisfeld, we've seen several times here in New Jersey, rising young judge. How did they score it? Remember, there were three knockdowns in the fight. Sam Peter knocked Vladimir Klitschko down twice in the fifth and once in the tenth. But most of the rounds were controlled by Klitschko's jab, movement, and straight right hand. Judges Let's go to Michael funny. Buffer and find out who won the fight, Big George. I'm Ladies in suspense. and gentlemen, we do have a winner. The winner will be WBO and IBF number one ranked heavyweight in the world and we'll have the NABF heavyweight title. All three judges, Lynn Carter, Steve Weisfeld, and George Hill scored the bout identically, 114 to 111 to the winner, the Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko. Pretty good. 
<laughs> yeah, but I would say so. I wasn't crazy for the style shift. I got to admit it. He won the fight, but boy, he got away with a lot of holes. The other guy got away with hitting him several times on the back of the head. No question. Did they both prove something, George? Both can take a shot. Not, I didn't know Klitschko could, but tonight he proved it. Not only can he give it, he can take it. It was an all-out heavyweight gunfight, the kind of fight that Vladimir Klitschko's detractors would have suggested that he couldn't win, and he held on to win it. Final CompuBox numbers will show you why. If there's having a rematch, I'd like to be at ringside again. Well, George, maybe we can make a special little invitation if for they you. make a rematch. Oh, quite a comeback night here, haven't you? I'll tell you, I love it. <laughs> Vladimir Klitschko landing twice as many punches as Sam Peter, throwing 83 more, landing at a significantly higher percentage. His numbers in the jab department would be completely dominant if we were to show them to you. And in the power punch department, he probably had an edge as well. Sam Peter spent many rounds wandering around looking to land a big shot. When he put his attack together and threw combinations, he did better, but it didn't happen all that often. At the end of the day, he was outboxed by the winner who stands by with Larry Merchant. He was able to fight while you were tired. Thank you, All right, thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Vladimir. What does this fight mean to you? It means a lot. It's coming back. Now I'm number one in WBA, excuse me, WBO and IBF. So for you personally, after all of the ups and downs of the last few years? I can fight 12 rounds, no problem, as you see. And everything else is still in the fight. I give my best. Samuel Peter is a good fighter with a strong chin, but less technique. That's what he has. I enjoy the fight. Was this the smartest fight you ever fought? Maybe not the smartest because I will not receive those low shots behind the head. But I have to work on some things to get better. Definitely. You're 29 years old and you told us the other day that you found your passion again for boxing. What do you mean by that? I love what I do more than it was before. And I think thanks for my losses which I have behind me, and I appreciate the box to more work with Emmanuel, and it's a lot of fun, as simple as it is. After losing two big fights, you come out and fight someone who is regarded as one of the most, if not the most dangerous fighter in the world. Did you want to prove yourself against somebody that dangerous? That's, yes, you have to tell that. I'm ready to fight everyone, but you have to judge because you're sitting outside of the ring. Thank you. Outs outstanding fight. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Sam, you thought you were indestructible. What happened? Well, um, I give time to press the guard, you know. Um, it's not easy, you know. I came in here to win, you know. Well, he do his best, you know. He beat me. What can I say? You know, I've been beating a lot of people too, you know. I know people out, you know. He hold me, I mean, if it's a fight like a real man, you know, with no one holding, you know, we exchange point, we see what we can do, but, you know, he win me today. So, I may turn back, maybe against him again next time. Well, what have you learned? Can you change as a fighter? Can you become a better fighter off of this experience? Do you have to become a better fighter? Yes, I'm still, I'm still the, the best there, you know. He beat me today, it means that he take everything from me. He doesn't take anything from me, you know. He win me today. Maybe next time, I win him. That's all about boxing. Thank you. It was an outstanding fight. Well, thank you. Just a quick final thought. A man once said that you can destroy someone, but it doesn't mean you've defeated him. Vladimir Klitschko has been destroyed a few times. The conventional wisdom has turned out to be nothing more than groupthink herd mentality. He showed that a fighter is capable of making some changes. And if his chin is not made of concrete, his hands and his intellect and the way he fights is good enough to fight anyone out there. Jim? All right, thank you very much, Larry. George, you made the point at the beginning of the evening. The heavyweight division is about excitement. Did you get enough? I'm very excited, and I'd like to see a rematch. Ed Peter is a star. Whatever he boxes, I'm buying a ticket. Could he add more boxing technique to his game? No doubt about it. He hasn't perfected his style, but once he does, 
he's going to be a man to be reckoned with. It's just a style that he hasn't perfected yet. Big hitter, outstanding chin. Took a lot of punches from Vladimir, but at the end of the day, that's what won Klitschko the fight. The that, you know what? It thinks about Roy Jones. I think he can do the same stuff. Move, well, funny enough. And hold, I think he can. Funny enough, we're about to talk.